As the season begins to wind down, we're getting kind of tired of being outside and the plants are getting really tired of all this heat that we've been experiencing over the summer. So this is a nice little craft that we can do in the fall months or in the winter months as we're amping up for next season. So instead of having the little plastic plant labels in the garden, those get broken, the writing uh, disappears with the sun and water. And so these rocks are an excellent way to know what plants you have planted where and just an excellent way to um, label your plants out in your garden. They add a little bit of character and you can add your own spin to each of these. If you find these online, they are quite expensive actually and they're actually really easy to make. So the first thing that you need are some stones. So you can find these at your local landscape store and you wanna make sure that you have these smooth stones that way it's easy to ride on and you have a flat surface. Uh, this stone right here is a little bit too small because you can't really write really long plants unless you want to abbreviate, but it's not necessarily ideal. And then these stones are a little bit too jagged to write on and they just, it's really hard to get your marker pen on there. So once you find your stones, you want to make sure that you wash them and get them clear of any dirt or any soil that might be on them. And then once they dry, I like to take some spray paint or whatever kind of paint you want to use. This specifically is outdoor paint. So that way, whenever it rains and as the sun beats down, it doesn't fade as much. So you take a base layer of paint and I use black just because I like the look of it. You can use whatever color that you want to. Um, if you want to brighten up and paint it like a strawberry, you can do that or just whatever colors that you want in your garden. And then after you paint your base, then you get to write what your plants are. So I just use these paint pens. Uh, they have different tips on them, so that way one's fine, one's extra fine, they have thicker tips also. And you can write whatever your plant is or whatever you're wanting to label. And then once you get done labeling them, you can add any extra decorations onto it if you want to. But the most important thing is to let it dry. So once you spray your base paint, make sure you let it dry and then you can write on there with your paint marker and then make sure you let that dry. And then you can spray it with a sealer. Um, I use this clear matte finish because I didn't necessarily want it to be shiny. But if you like that look, you can go ahead and use that also. So instead of using those plastic or wooden labels that deteriorate over the summer months, these are a great option that can be used from year to year as long as you're growing the same plants or you can make even more. So this is a great craft to do over the fall and winter months. You can even give it as a gift to your fellow gardener. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.